friends, welcome back to Adventures with Kevin. I'm Kevin, this is Rambo, this is Toby. We are a team that is refinishing an old 1999 cargo trailer that I named Esmea into a camper. Today's video is all about putting the walls up. I'm using some half inch plywood. I'm, I chose that just so I could screw to it and it would, it would always be pretty sturdy but not too heavy. I didn't want to go with three quarter because that'd be too heavy. Let's talk about my layout. This is a picture of my layout. You can see the front half is my bed. I've watched a lot of videos on different layouts that people use and they always put their bed towards the back. I didn't want to do that because I just didn't want to. So my bed is up near the front. It is going to fold up against the wall. The back half you can see here is all going to be kind of kitchen stuff. So you'll notice when I put the walls up I don't stain those because they're going to get covered by kitchen cabinets and backsplash. This video is going to be kind of long so I'm not going to talk too much more and let's get to work. butter and jelly sandwich break. Alright, back to work. I just realized that these railings are spread out four foot so if I were to just screw this up here I have nothing to screw to here so I have to cut about an inch off of each one of these and not off of each one I'll do it on a case by case It's been a rainy morning. I'm getting a late start because it's like 12.30. Let's see what we get done today. I didn't get as much done yesterday as I wanted to. Um, 
I wanted to have my walls up yesterday and I totally didn't. Uh, the polyurethane taking four hours to dry, I forgot about that a little bit. So that's taken really long. But I'm going to keep keep plugging away at it. I'm going to be putting one more coat of polyurethane on all of these. Toby needs attention. Toby's bugging me for attention. basically be a four star chef. So it's another day working on Esmea. Before I can put up this side of the walls, I have some electrical work I need to do. All right guys, so I had a lot of frustrations today with my camera battery not wanting to stay charged. I kind of forgot to charge it last night and then keeping it charged all day really sucked. I decided at some point to just get some work done and then just show what, what I did after. I'm not too proud of this joint right here. There's a big gap. But it's tight at the top. If I had a person helping me, I probably could have got that tighter. Um, I got this electrical box here installed. This is going to be a light switch that's going to run some puck lights. I also ran some wiring that's going to be going to the puck lights. I didn't buy enough, so I'm going to have to make another run to get more. I used an old extension cord to that's going to 
it runs from that front corner over there up and around and down comes out down here I am gonna have a refrigerator a 12 volt refrigerator and that's where that's gonna come out Day 742 of working on paneling. I have just a tiny amount of stain left. I'm going to be mad if I have to go buy another can of stain for a couple boards. These are my last ones that I have to do this color. Trying to use the stain like right out of the bottom of the stain can came out like a much redder color than the rest of the walls. So it's gonna get sanded off and I'm gonna go buy another can of stain. much all of my wonky wall work and I got done and I'm looking at my outlet and I don't I realized this when I was doing it that this didn't sit flush with the outside and I realized now now that I'm pretty much done that this is backwards this is this screws are supposed to be on the outside so I gotta pull this panel down and redo my electrical my electrical switch for that What's up, Rambo? Oh, all the dogs are coming in to see me. What's up, guys? You guys are spoiled little dogs. This is why it's so hard to get work done for me because they're always wanting attention and I'm kind of a sucker for giving it to them. Aren't you? Yeah. You guys always want attention.